Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Studio Series 86, Retgar. And I've got to give a huge shout out to my buddy Deluxe Baldwin from Hail Hasbro Reviews for finding this guy for me. He was at his local Target. He sent our little TFCon group a picture and said, hey, I just found two of these. Anybody want one? And I'm like, me, 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 because I have been looking forward to getting this guy for quite some time, and my pre-order doesn't seem to be budging. So, Deluxe, thank you so much. So now let's take a quick look at the packaging. we got Transformers Studio Series 86, Transformers the Movie, you see Retgar right there in robot mode behind the plastic. Some fantastic artwork there on the front. Side of the box, more of that same artwork zoomed in. Back of the box, we've got product shots. Retgar in motorcycle mode, Retgar in robot mode, and an image displaying the backdrop. On this side, more of that same artwork with the red 86. So now, without further ado, let's get this guy opened up out of the packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Retgar all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with two wheels, and man, let me tell you, these are some solid pieces of plastic. I was expecting something kind of hollow, but man, these things, these are good quality. I mean, I really, really like those, but more into those later on. He also has his four-bladed axe or pizza cutter. I mean, that thing can really spin. Maybe it's a Junkion fidget spinner, but there's his weapon. He also comes with this really cool backdrop that depicts Junkion, and you've got the Junkion ship flying right there. So if you do have room on your display area, you can put Retgar right in there like that, but unfortunately, I do not. So now, let's take a closer look at Retgar himself. Now, straight out of the packaging, Retgar looks awesome and very faithful to his animated counterpart from the 86 movie. And that's always great to see with these Studio Series 86 figures. I mean, pretty much they've all been a hit, except for Cup and Blur that looked nothing like their animated counterparts. Taking a closer look at Retgar, amazing sculpted details. I mean, look at the face. That face is just spot on. Fantastic paint applications there, too. You see the faux windshield there on top of the head, the red there for the light, the red eyes. Love the mustache. That is a soft, pliable plastic. Got the beard right there that's kind of at a curve, so it's kind of laying on the chest. Lots of great sculpted details. Not a lot of paint applications, per se, but still, he looks awesome. Now, I do want to point out, you see the different spikes on him right here? These spikes are kind of a soft plastic. I mean, they're stiff right now, but this one right here, the way it was packaged, it was shoved in there and bent up. So I had to do the boiling water trick 
to get that fixed. And if you don't know what that is, if you have bent plastic, you can actually boil some water, dip the offending piece in the boiling water until it gets nice and soft, straighten it out to where it looks right, and then really quickly dip it into some ice water for a couple minutes, and boom, it straightened out and looks perfect. So he's got those four spikes on his wrists and down on the knees. Other details include the chest cannons that he has. Let's see, nice details there on the stomach. I like the saddlebags. I like the details on those. Those look really, really cool. Moving on down with the legs. Looks like the seat right there. This is just a great looking figure. I just can't get over how much he looks like the cartoon. I mean, that is awesome. This is the best mainline Retgar that we've ever got. I am so thankful to have this guy in my collection. Now let's bring in his accessories, and we'll start with the wheels right here that I went over earlier. These have lots of nice details as well. You can see the rivets there on the inside, or the lug nuts rather, the details on the tires and the studs. Once again, exactly like the cartoon. And I love how these attach to the figure. You take the wheels and you slide them over the spikes and then they just plug into the holes right there. So you can do wheels on either side like so, or you could do wheels on both wrists and I don't think it matters, whoops, which side you plug it in on. Nope. You just got to make sure and press it in good so it stays, as you saw over there where it didn't. So now he has wheels on both arms, or to make him look like he did on the G1 movie. Man, that's in there tight. You want one wheel on the wrist and the other wheel down here on the knee. So there you have him with his shield and leg wheel and then of course he comes with his fidget spinner axe right here lots of great details on this as well i really wish it didn't spin i mean that's that's just me but i'm i'm not a big fan of that and this slides right into his hand you got the handle here that leads up into this little thicker area so it'll slot in and he can hold it really tight once I get it in there. So there you go. Now you have Retgar all armed and ready for battle. And he looks awesome. Now let's get into his articulation. The head, of course, can do a complete 360. It can look up. It can look down. The chest cannons, they have articulation as well. So they can go all over the place. So you have cold and hot. Or <laughs> if... Now I got that reversed. Oh, well, you know what I mean. So yeah, these can move all over the place. The arms can do a complete 360. They can also go up and down. And I love what they did right here. When these arms go up, they have extra molded plastic section right there that looks like, I don't know, robot hinges right there. So you just don't have a gap. That looks really good. So they can go up and down. There is a rotation there at the bicep there is of course the bicep bend and these joints are tight i love it there's also wrist rotation waist rotation and an ab crunch so that's pretty cool so you can have him in a attack position where he's leaning forward looking up so he's like charging you now the one issue with this ab crunch there's a tab right here. If you can see, that tab goes right there in that little slot. It doesn't connect really good. I mean, the ab crunch just doesn't secure as much as I would like it to, but still pretty cool it's there. Now, I think I may have missed the rotation. If I did, there it is. If I didn't, you just saw it one more time. Legs, forward, back, out, and these are on a soft ratchet. So they can go out all the way. The saddlebags will lift up. Now what I don't like about it is the ratchets move them out. If you're going to do a pose, you've got a wide stance. 
or narrow. So that's the one downfall of the ratcheting hips. Legs forward, legs back, knee bend, once again, tight joints, rotation there at the upper thigh, and ankle tilt. Well, not as much ankle tilt. It's kind of a bottom of the foot tilt, but still, it works. And I tell you what, I love this figure. He is such a cool looking transformer toy. So now let's get Retgar transformed into vehicle mode. Now the first thing you'll have to do to transform Retgar into vehicle mode is to remove the accessories. We'll remove the wheels that we will use later on and his fidget spinner axe. Next thing we're going to do is fold the fists down and around. They just fold up in under the wrists like so. Then you're going to bring his arms up over his head and twist them so the spikes are facing back. So he is surrendering. Now what you're going to do is take the chest section, pull down, and extend all of this out like so. Then you're going to reach in right here and just bring this section up. Word of warning, when I first opened my Retgar, this section here was so tight. I was afraid I was going to break it when I was transforming him. So, But once I got it popped loose, it's been no problem. So you're going to flip this all the way out. Make sure the arms are completely out of the way. You're going to fold these up like so. And now you're going to bring this all back in and you're going to tuck in Retgar's head right up here in that canopy. So you're going to bring the head up. Then you've got this accordion hinge. You want to make sure and get this flat. And this is kind of tricky at first to get this lined up just right. I've transformed this guy multiple times and this still gives me a little bit of a fit. never fails always on camera so get this up this up there we go snapped right into place that time so now what you're going to do is bring in the arms and these little sections right here see they're at an angle they're going to pop in right there along the side of that brown section that's now inside the motorcycle so now you have the arms looking like this you're going to take one of the wheels and peg it into the holes, go ahead and peg it into one. And right here, you've got these little slots that are gonna line up to these tabs right there. So go ahead and line up that one. Once you get this wheel lined up with this arm, go ahead and squeeze together so the wheel is in both. And then tab this arm in. There we go, so we got both arms tabbed in. The front of the motorcycle is done. Now we're going to bring this section up and out. So it's going to lay flat like so. Now you're going to take the legs and collapse them completely in. Bring the feet down. And then you're going to bring these up and over. And there's a little slot right here that's going to line up to that slot on the foot. So go ahead and get one side pegged in. So you've got that going on. Get your second wheel, and right there, you're gonna peg that wheel in. Now you're gonna bring the second leg around to where it can peg into the other side of the wheel. Get that pegged in, flip around to make sure you get that slot tabbed into the toe. And there you have Retgar in motorcycle mode. Lastly, we're gonna take these sections right here, flip these out. These are kind of the kickstands. And now you can pose Retgar in his motorcycle mode. In motorcycle mode, Retgar looks awesome. I really dig the looks of this motorcycle. Very faithful to the G1 toy. I like the extra addition of the silver paint right there on the engine block. Not to mention the flame effects there on the gas tank, though they're not real even. If you can see right there, the paint is slightly off where those two halves went together. 
I like how on the back of Rekgar's head, you do have the speedometer right there. That is really, really cool. I mean, that blends in really good. You can't really tell that is a robot head. The wheels look awesome. Big complaint though, a lot of gap. There is lots of gaps in this motorcycle mode. But still, looks really good. Like the saddlebags. Now you can take his weapon, the fidget spinner axe, and there's a little peg right there that you can tab onto the back of the motorcycle. But I'm not a fan of that because now it looks like he has a propeller. So I'll just kind of leave that off. Now the handles here, you can pose those any way you want. You can bring them down, you can bring them up. But yeah, this is really, really cool. Of course, you got the chest guns now, or front-mounted cannons for the motorcycle that you can move around. So there's an option. And I like the addition of the kickstand. That really, really works. So it doesn't just flop over. Now, of course, you can pop the kickstands up and then just roll them around. Of course, my flat, smooth surface, it really doesn't work. But these wheels, they spin well enough. I squeezed him together really tight, so those wheels are pretty well secured. So now, let me pop these stands out again. Let's compare the new Studio Series 86 Retgar with his Generation 1 counterpart, and I love the similarities between these two vehicles. You got the little gold swoosh there on the side, the big, thick area with the hood and the canopy, not to mention the clear canopies. You got the same collar scheme. You got the flame effects. I love it. I love when these new figures really pay great homages to their Generation 1 counterparts. It just is really cool to this old G1er. Now, supposedly, if you had another Retgar, you could have that Retgar ride this Retgar. But since I only have one, I used another robot. So there you go, guys. Studio Series 86 Retgar in motorcycle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series 86 Retgar with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Retgar, Reveal the Shield Retgar, Power of the Primes Retgar, and Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. Transformers Studio Series 86 Retgar is an amazing Transformers toy. I love this figure. He has a fantastic robot mode that is the spitting image of his cartoon counterpart from the 86 movie. Fun transformation. Vehicle mode's okay, a little bit gappy, but nothing I can't live with. The details on this figure are amazing. The sculpted details, the wheel details, the spikes. Hasbro, you did an outstanding job on this figure. So there you go, guys. Studio Series 86, Retgar. So, does a Transformer Studio Series 86 Retgar belong in your collection? Absolutely. I love this Transformers figure. This is an awesome toy. He's got a great looking robot mode, fun transformation, vehicle modes, okay. I'm not a big fan of all of the gaps, but to be honest, how often do we get a really good motorcycle transformer? And I think Hasbro knocked it out of the park with this guy. Yes, he's got a little bit of parts for him, but it's the wheels and they can be used as weapons. So it's no big deal. I just can't get over how good this figure is. He really, really surprised me. Big shout out once again to Deluxe Baldwin for hooking me up with Retgar. Thank you so much. And guys, if you see Retgar on this shelf, pick him up without hesitation. You are not going to be disappointed. Now, before I end the video, I want to do something special for you guys. Now, every time I think of Retgar, I think of National Treasure, Weird Al Yankovic. I mean, Weird Al sung the song Dare to be Stupid in the 1986 Transformers movie during the battle and dance scene between the Autobots and the Junkions. Not to mention, Weird Al voiced Retgar in the Transformers animated 
animated series. So, in honor of Weird Al Yankovic and his cult classic from 1989, UHF, we're going to take this video down to the kitchen. And I'm here with my son, Dylan from Dylan's Toy Box, and you should really check me out and him. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to me and, um, and subscribe to him. But uh, today we are um, eating a Twinkie Wiener sandwich from the movie UHF. And you recently started liking this movie. I, mean, I love it. What's your favorite part? It's when he yells. It's so when weird. he yells. So yes, UHF that came out in 1989, and one of the things that Weird Al showed in this movie was the Twinkie Wiener sandwich. And all you need is Twinkies, Wieners, and I pick Oscar Mayer Angus beef because that, in my opinion, is the best hot dog on the market, and Easy Cheese. So Dylan, are you ready to try a Twinkie Wiener sandwich? Yeah. All right. So first, I'll, I'll try not to touch yours, so I won't get any more. All right. First thing yes. we'll do is let's open up the Twinkies. Okay. Yeah. All right. Woo. There is one for you and one for me. Now, according to the movie, okay, you, you turn the Twinkie upside down, and then you have to cut right down the middle of the Twinkie making it look like a hot dog bun. Okay. Uh, Here, I'll do yours. I, I did not. Okay. Remember, I told you I'll do. He mine. wants to do his own. Yeah. Oh, he did it one, one chop. Okay, now you take your Twinkie or your hot dog, and we warm these up. Put them on the stove. So you put your hot dog there. You should put them on the we, stove. We, well, I know. We got Mimao. out in camera now. Yeah, Hi, Mimao. Hi. All right, let's open up the Easy Cheese. And now we just spray Easy Cheese on the wiener. Sorry, Mimao, you can't have any. This is only a Dylan and Daddy challenge. So. All right. So okay. there, there's mine all ready to go. Dylan? I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> excited to do it. I mean, I don't know how it's going to taste. I don't, I don't know, know how, how it's going to taste either. I've never done, been a fan of Weird Al's for years. Uh, never tried the Twinkie Wiener sandwich. Oh. Okay, let me have that. Yeah. Okay, um, I don't want to get any cheese on me. I think you're going to shoot across the table. Yeah, probably. Here, let me help you. Yeah. Sorry, guys. S say when. When. Oh, my gosh. This looks. <laughs> this looks like a day. This looks like a Pluto snack or something. All right, so here we are. Hold up your Twinkie Wiener sandwich. I mean, it smells good, but... I don't know. All right, you ready? In three, two, one. You know, it's not bad. It's not, not that bad. Not at all. It's not bad at all. You know what? It's got that combination of sweet and salty. <laughs> so what do you think? I'm almost done with mine. Mm. That I, at first it tastes like um my own food that I invented. Um um at first, but then at the last part, it tastes like cake. It's like meat cake. Yeah, whenever I eat it, it tastes like my <laughs> own inven invention for some reason. I call it hot dog bites. Hot dog bites, yep. Yeah. He, he cuts up hot dogs with toothpicks and pickles. Yeah, uh, I cut up hot dogs. Then I put cheese. Then I melt. Then I put it in the microwave and melt the cheese and stuff. Then I put a toothpick through it. Then I put a pickle. Then you grab the toothpick and you eat it all at once. Okay. So what do you think of the Twinkie Wiener sandwich, Dylan? This is really not bad at all. It's not. Bad. He was nervous. He was kind of scared at first. He told me earlier he didn't want to do it. But yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't at all what I was expected. Now, would I fix a bunch of these for guests coming over at the house? Yes. He would, I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd do that. So 
Yes, yeah, so there we go. There is the Twinkie Wiener Sandwich. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Same thing with me. Once again, this is Patriot Prime. <laughs> Signing out. Bye! Who is this guy?